mean, look at this thing. Just, just real quick. Like this thing is a bed right here. That's a bed that I can actually fit underneath it, and I've got room. So we're gonna get into all these specs. There's a bathroom. There's a bathroom right there. What? Lots of cool features. And the best part about it, like I said already in this video, is it's tiny. Hey yo everybody, what is going on? So today's video, as you probably have already seen in the small little teaser that I have given, I am going to tease you with a trip that I'm about to go to. It's kind of showing off a new company. It's actually not a new company, but it's a new company to the States. And I'll explain a lot more of when I do the tour of that company or that rig in particular, but Wingham is the company. I want to get down to New Jersey, which is where the you know, the, the, the prototype or not even the prototype, but the European Wingham is stored at. And the U S one is hitting the States in the next couple of months. I'm super thrilled to just be invited to even do this. Uh, and I get to now share it with everybody on my YouTube channel. But before I go down there, before I take that trip, it is late right now. And I figured I haven't given you guys any like real updates on the tiny house. So I figured before I go on my trip and I show you guys all that cool stuff, let me kind of walk through the tiny house and kind of show you where my progress is so far. Filming this in late May, because that's when the trip is going to go show Wingham. I've got roughly two months left on my lease. That doesn't include a wedding that I've already have to go to and attend. And I also want to go to Colorado tiny house festival. So I'm losing at least five, maybe six days out of the next 60. So I am going to be going down to the wire with this. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this done and my land prepped in the next two months, but we shall see. You definitely want to keep tuning in to see if I can get all of that going. I obviously will get it going. I just don't know if I can get it done in two months. It might be three months. I might have to get an extra month lease on the shop space which is out here, this awesome cool shop that I've been in for the last year. However, I am really excited that that chapter is kind of coming to a close and now I'm able to move this tiny house up to the land that I have purchased and I get to be building my own shop for my own fun and my own cool things that's gonna be happening, which stay tuned because I got some cool announcements coming up. Not really a disaster zone, but it's kind of a disaster zone in here. I, you know, it's a work zone. It's, this is what happens, everybody. The Stanley cooler, by the way, is just there for me to sit on while I do work on the cabinetry. That's kind of <laughs> what that is. I don't have any countertops in yet. However, I have ordered them. I was going to order this company called Durison, which was suggested to me by a couple of my van friends, but I ended up going with a Corian solid surface countertop. So I always wanted solid surface and Corian is a great product. I was walking through the deeper one day, that's Home Depot if you guys don't know what that is. Notice that they sell Corian, bada bing bada boom. I went to the specialist, I don't know why they're called specialists, but I went to them and I said, hey, I want some Corian for my countertops and boom, I'm gonna get some delivered. Cost your boy quite a bit of money though, it was $1,900 for this entire slab plus the bar top. So obviously the countertop's gonna sit right on top of that and then everything uh, between the bar and the galley are all pushed to open. So push to open jars, boom. All of these will also be all pushed to open. Uh, the refrigerator's not set in place. I have it taken out right now because I have to set the counter in, I think it's like five, six days. The bench or the couch, uh, there will be cushions that'll go on top of this. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a nice brown leather. It's going to match the rest of the decor in here. I started the wall panels, as you may have seen in other videos. These wall panels are made by Wall Theory. I'm gonna do a whole video on why I went with Wall Theory and just how they turned out. I have a lot, a lot of work to do on those until they're complete. They're fake concrete panels. And then I will also have uh, the brick, which I've shown in a video before when the Murphy bed is down. I'll throw up a picture right now so you guys can see what that looks like. All of these drawers underneath are all pushed to open. The only one that is technically fully done is this one right down here. So all of these down here will be an insert drawer. The galley and the bars will be a full overlay. Uh, kind of explain those later, but you can also Google them to look it up. So these are also pushed to open. I hope this works. And it did. <laughs> you know when you're like demonstrating and you're like, oh, does it work? Speaking of not working, I screwed up this drawer. 
Uh, so this is also on a push slope, and it's a nice big massive draw. Look at the size of that thing, it's great. However, I uh, did my calculations wrong, and that's as far as it'll go back. I already said that these are inset, so if it was a flush, it would have been perfect. However, uh, yeah, I made the drawer a little too big because there's a back, there's a backer back there, uh, right where the bed is, and it just doesn't go back any further. I pretty much needed to go back another three quarters of an inch, and I screwed that up. So I gotta take this drawer out, I gotta cut the back off about an inch, will be an inch to be like safe. Then I gotta redo, put the back on, bleh, and then I gotta make the face, actually the face is right here, and then I gotta sand it down and make it all pretty like. Cruising Comfort AC is stored down there. I've done a whole video on, uh, well not a whole video, I put that in a video. Uh, that is the compressor unit, the condenser fans are underneath the tiny house, and the evaporator is a custom made evaporation that I've made up there. I've made these doors. These are actually, you might be able to see it in the camera. This is all oiled with Odie's oil and this is unfinished. No oil on that. You can kind of tell the difference. There's a little bit of a yellow tint to this. Now, uh, I don't have my ceiling lights on. This is actually the heart light that is uh, showing my lights right now. And all of my power is off and all my battery is on. This is a finish. So this is what this will look like. The blue is obviously what, you know, part of the decor. This will be my desk up here. Uh, I have already the pipe for the desk. I haven't made, well, I made the top, but I don't think I'm gonna go with it. I'm kind of going, trying to go through this as quickly as possible. I can't really do much in the loft until the wall panels are done, but my dad is a pretty stickler on getting the wall panels done correctly. And he thinks that I'm gonna screw it up, but he is pretty unavailable for the next two weeks so if I get everything done that I need to get done, which as you already know, I'm on a time crunch. If I get all that done, which pff, God only knows if I will, I have to start doing wall panels because I get to get that done. So I'm going to do it the new school way. Uh, actually, he would do it this way too. I take that back. He would definitely do it this way, but I'm going to set up a laser to kind of make sure that all of my panels are level. We have the one set already, so my lines are already set. I should be good to go by doing it single-handedly. I don't really need a second person, but it is nice having him, especially because he knows what he's doing, but just having uh, a second set of hands helping you with that. I ordered the exterior, but it hasn't arrived yet, but it is coming. I haven't done any videos in the bathroom, and I don't even think I even showed this in any videos. I was starting to edit this video, but that was right when I took my social media break. That is my pocket door, which is not really a pocket, but it's a sliding door, and it is a chalkboard. I love incorporating chalkboards into my bills. The lights are hanging down from the ceiling because I gotta paint it, and this decor is going to be kind of the opposite, con well, not really the opposite contrast, but I was looking to do a white, like subway tile all the way around. However, I got a quote from this company that was a really lightweight material because obviously I'm trying to be weight conscious. And guess what? And it was waterproof. However, <laughs> the, the quote came back really expensive and my budget is running pretty thin. So I'm decided to go with a waterproof vinyl tile and that will cover all of the walls in here. Gonna be bigger tiles. Uh, smaller than the tiles that I got going on here, which is fake concrete. This is gonna be more of like a sleek bathroom, walnut, black fixtures, uh, and I've got a really nice washer dryer unit that's gonna be right in here. So you're not gonna be able to see any of that. That's all gonna be covered by the washer dryer unit. This is a fake wall that we kind of came up with. Actually, my dad came up with that idea. Uh, fake wall, and that is to do all the plumbing. All the plumbing is back there, my water pump, and then obviously my water tank. Now I put a light in, or on the back side of the water tank, I put two of these lights in there. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. And that illuminates the tank so I can see the water levels. Now I was going to also put a tank sensor in there, but you never know what or if a tank sensor can kind of be faulty. In this way, I have lights in the back. If a light goes out, then I can just replace the light. In my opinion, I just feel that that's a little bit more of a fail safe. Let me remove this piece of cardboard because this is my shower. Boom, full shower. Uh, I'll have a rain shower overhead and I'll have a wand on the, on the thing as well. I bought this really nice piece of glass that actually goes right in here 
uh, and you'll be able to walk through here and there is you know my wet room so this like area is my wet room uh, there were, you know, the whole bathroom is kind of a wet room. However, on the other side of the glass right down here, I just ordered and I actually just received the shipping information and I'm going to give you guys a lot more information about that. I originally bought a Laveo dry flush for my tiny house. I felt that that was the easiest and best solution for me, but I go big or go home. I went out and bought an incinerator toilet. I've been talking about wanting one for a long time. So I got an incinerator toilet from the company called Eco John. I'm going to give you guys a lot more information. I even believe that I'm, they're giving me a discount code for all of my viewers, which is awesome. I paid for it, just letting you guys all know. So I got a discount, but you know, I still paid for it. I'm excited to kind of share the whole process of the incinerator. I can't believe I, I, I put an incinerator toilet in my tiny house. So my point is, the entire tiny house with the water tank over there and uh, now with the van life tech system, I just did a video on that as well. The low voltage air conditioner, the two massive batteries from Rely On, 30 kilowatt hours in total. All of that, this is a self-sustaining tiny house. There are not many that are out there and there are, I don't know if any have done it DIY. This is a, what I call a DIY assist. I brought in the people that I needed to, that I was not confident in. Like I brought my friend Jason into the electrical from Off Grid Solutions, and I brought in the Van Life Tech guys to do their own system because they're the best. I think it's time for me to end the night. It is like 11 o'clock here and it's time for bed. All right, let's go to Jersey and let's see what this whole wingman experience is all about. All right, everybody, I'm in New Jersey. I'm just leaving the hotel. And honestly, this might be a good time for you guys to uh, like, subscribe, that whole thing. You know, hit the notification bell, all that good. I vlog my adventures, I vlog my building, whether it's a tiny house, which I'm doing now, or a van build, which I'll probably do another one, or a bus build, which I hopefully will do. My whole land development. I'll be doing, uh, I do a lot of tours. I do a lot of tours. That's actually what I'm doing today, but um, this isn't, this is the vlog style of it. There's gonna be an actual tour. We're gonna to tease it a little bit in this vlog. But this is the stuff that I definitely wanna start doing. I'm gonna do, start flying around the country. I'm gonna start driving around. I'm gonna start camping around the country and meeting up with companies and showing off companies that can help you guys as well as me, obviously, but we'll help the whole industry. Let's check this thing out because this thing is rad. We stopped to get coffee just now, okay? And we had a lovely lady just sitting at the coffee shop and she wanted to take a tour of the inside. So I'm gonna get you guys a sneak peek of it. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Adrian. Hi, Great Adrian. Great to be on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking to get into van life and she wanted to check out the this, this RV that pulled up on the side of the road and we got coffee and you're looking to get into it, right? I absolutely am. I've been thinking about it for years. I even have a couple of friends who are into it. This I is grew great. up with a lot of people who live down the Give me lights. Yeah, so. Did you? I did. See, well, New Jersey people are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey okay. City is kind of very New York y. Okay, I like you, it. The, I like the cooler it. side. I would say the so. Side. They call this Wall Street West. I'm oh, okay. Sure that's a compliment or not, but. I'm a Bostonian, so hopefully. Me too. Oh, really? Where are you from? For real. I'm from, I went to to college outside of Boston. Which one? Wellesley. I'm from Newton. Get out. Yeah, look at that, look guys. At that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> wow. yeah. It's called the Newton Wellesley area. Yeah, Newton oh, Wellesley. Yeah, I was not. born at Newton Wellesley. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, I'm going to go now and talk to her and we're going <laughs> to reminisce on our childhood a little yeah. bit. I'm not going to lie. We were we were at the coffee shop for about an hour. I got uh, my flight's not until much later, but I would say <laughs> 10 people and we're parked right on front just like 10 people 20 people everybody walking by was like what is that thing what is that thing what is that thing and i haven't even toured it yet with my man roy we just stopped for coffee we just stopped for damn coffee which i finished but and now as you can maybe tell because I'm, I'm more pep more pep in my step but we're up now we're awake <laughs> but man this rig might be the best hybrid like city and camping rig i have seen yet because, and again, I'll talk about all this in the tour, but from bumper to bumper is only 17 and a half feet. I just looked up my truck 
my F-250, it's close to 20 feet in length. Two feet, that's a big difference. Three feet, whatever, two and a half feet. It's a big difference. Let's go to the park so I can get a tour in with Roy here. We're gonna show this off, but that'll be in a completely different video and then I'll end this video. We just parked up for where the tour is going to be happening and i am not upset about this backdrop look at that 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 is new york city uh, jersey city downtown manhattan listen i love being out in nature and i love doing that kind of stuff but there's still a part of me that's a city boy it's still a part of me that loves the architecture and the, the high rises and all that stuff. We're gonna explain kind of, uh, you know, what what Wingham is and what, what it can do and, and kind of talk about, you know, everything, all the specs on it. And I'm gonna bring out the nicer camera. That's why I'm gonna put this one down. And <laughs> I mean, look at this thing, just, just real quick. Look, this thing is a bed right here. That's a bed that I can actually fit underneath it. And I've got room. So we're gonna get into all these specs there's a bathroom. There's a bathroom right there. What? Lots of cool features. And the best part about it, like I said already in this video, is it's tiny. Let me shoot this with Roy. And uh, thank you guys for watching the vlog. You want to say anything? Nothing. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy.